Looks like I forgot to hit the record button when I was playing this, but it's a good enough hand. Just needs to land. And even if I don't draw one immediately, I do have the ghoul and the hexblade. So not really interested in burning hands in uh one one, so Ghoul, not close. That meteor storm. I'd like to see that in my hand. Hopefully, it doesn't work. Under real, under no real pressure here. Top deck to land, and I don't want to deal with a three three ranger's hawk. So I'm gonna kill the plus two mace. Attack first. Bam. Smash it. <laughs> if I were him, I would keep back the Ranger's Hawk. One damage isn't going to do anything to me. I'm clearly not the aggressor. And I could block a 2-1. What am I going to do? Sack my Barbarian? Maybe, but... Okay, I'll trade a... Hawk for a Barbarian, especially when I'm stuck on three, yeah. Unless he's got removal here. I can see removal. Set off traps. You hear something on watch. Yeah, I feel that. Bam. Called that. Granted. Yeah, I know. But you've already seen this. Of course you called that. You know what I mean. It's still been a while. I don't remember everything. So we can create a treasure token and then use it for the hired hex blade. Yes, you are correct, but I like how I'm talking to my future self <laughs> by pointing to the hired hex blade after I play it. Kinda telegraphing to myself in the future, knowing that I'm gonna do this. Hey, thinking about this uh Hired X Blade. Yeah, again, you should play the Valor Singer first. Get that extra damage in. Granted, it didn't matter. You would have blocked the 3 2. <sighs> it's so bad, but. And it's. It really doesn't matter. <sighs> Who cares that it gets plus 2 plus 0? Oh? He's just going to block one of my Barbarians. It does not matter. I really don't want a Burning Hands here. I'd rather play Valor Singer. I bet I'd do it. Oh, I didn't. Good for me. Like, who cares that he's blocking a 2-1. Or a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, you, you play that. So, the reason I don't want to use the treasure for the higher text blade is because I need that red mana for the Meteor Storm. And I'm worried about, you know, a 3-3 flyer. Yeah. If you top, I'm going to make you discard. One top. Okay. Regardless of play, I think this turn I need to... Make him discard. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to do. I can leave up Deadly Dispute. No, I cannot. But he wants this card on top. So, just attack three. He trades, he trades. I doubt it. Happy for this. See, he either takes three and goes to 11 or trades his Ranger's Hawk. Either are fine for me. If I were him, I would go to 11. Also would not swing back for three. I mean, I don't know his hand, but 
keeps back two of my other creatures. Oh no! See, this is where it's just like, ah, oh, what do I get rid of? I needed this, and ah, oh, you know what I mean? This is where the clutch is, is good. Look at that, I just got rid of an air elemental, a displacer beast, a gen. You see what I mean? That was just two remove target creature spells. Power word kill. Yeah, I agree with that attack now. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. You could swing though for three and then burning hands and then hired hexblade. Really don't like playing hired hexblade though. I don't love the play. But it is what it is. You can even swing with both, honestly. But he just blocks the, with the Ranger's Hawk. There's no point. So, so he either takes three and goes to six, or two for ones myself. But I gotta get through this three four. He's got four lands and one card in hand. I can afford. I can afford it. It's fine. And if he takes it, then I get to play a Chaos Channeler. Okay, he blocks. Cool. Burning hands. I mean, I really do want to draw the land, but... By using quote unquote a uh, land to get there, I don't really want to do that. So, Pegasus, yeah. pretty good. Because, I mean, think about it. If I get a land here, right? A mountain specifically, I could kill his Pegasus and Jin. Because three, four, five. You get a swamp. I guess uh, I was wrong, actually. Three. No, I have five. Yeah, this is weird. I think you attack first. See if he blocks. And then, I mean, as it is, you really need to kill the three, three. That's what's gonna kill you. But, I mean, yeah, you could deadly dispute, make a treasure, not that bad. Why am I swinging both? Yeah, that makes sense. Either it takes three or it takes two. That was a dumb question. Yeah, I think you played Hired Hexblade and sack the Hired Hexblade to ensure that you draw um, a mountain or something at end of turn. So not pain with treasure. You play Hired Hexblade. Pass the turn and then end of turn, sack Hired Hexblade in order to kill his 3-3. Now here I just swing with the 3-3, not both. It doesn't change the clock, that's a mistake. Because now I can swing back for 3-4-5-6. No, 3-4-5. Maybe I have a haste, maybe I have two damage. Okay, so he's definitely got some sort of trick. At least he's telegraphing that. And there's all my mountains. It's fine. So yes, I do have that now. I think you should attack first. See what he's got. You could have... Okay. Well, now you just do it. 
Day two. Might as well. So we have one card. Maybe we can Chaos Channeler. It'll be fine. Day two. Yep. Yep. Boom, boom. Three. Three. And then the rest there. It's fine. <sighs> Auto pay that. All right. He's up four. Blades land goes to one. Uh, yeah, Chan I I play Chandler here. Channeler here. <laughs> His name's Chandler. Chandler the Channeler. I mean, either is fine. I suppose if I'm playing this, I get to throw something and concedes. Okay. Not bad. 